Uh, we're here with John Steinberg, one of the creators of Black Sales, is nominated tonight. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank tell, you. tell me, you know, you guys really have always had LGBT stuff in the show, but last year, of course, was a big, big part of it because of Toby's character. Yeah. Talk about crafting that and also what you heard from fans about it. Um, I think in terms of building it, um, we, we wanted to, you know, we started trying to tell a story about people who were living outside of a system um, that just wasn't built for them anymore. And in, if you tell that story honestly and you tell that story seriously, at some point sexuality has to be a part of that story. And so we tried to be, um, we tried to be really serious about it. We tried to um, tell a story about that relationship um, that frankly would have been the same had it been a, a hetero relationship. Um, and just tried to allow it to be about these two people who found each other in this very strange way. Um, and then in terms of the fans, I mean, I think, I think it came off the way we wanted it to. I think Toby and Rupert, who played Thomas, um, really got it. And they actually, they have a long-term pre-existing friendship, which I think helped a lot. Um, and in terms of buying that they had connected in that way. Um, in terms of the fans, I think a lot of people, for them, it was the moment they fell in love with the show. Um, I think there were a lot of people who were thrown by it. Um, I think in some of, in a way, I think that's not a bad thing. I think that if it's, um, if it's forcing you to um, deal with this relationship and deal with that character in a way um, that you hadn't before, then that's kind of, I think, what the point was. Um, and so we, we were all really proud of it. And, and I think, um, you know, in season three tried, and even in season two tried to, um, you know, to tell stories like that with some of the other characters, with, with Clara Paget's character and, um, you know, just watching them all try to come to terms with who they were, absent any, anybody telling them who they were. Really great. Even in the finale, Flint told Silver about his past, which I thought was, I didn't know that was coming, but was that even a big decision to actually have him talk about it a little bit? It's really hard because I think, um, you know, we, we wanted this relationship to feel real and romantic and, and, and grounded. Um, but to be honest to this character, he's a guy who is living um, after it and in some measure in denial of it in order to be able to function. And so there are limited opportunities for us to be able to explore it. Um, and I think when that relationship between, between Flint and Silver got to the point where we knew that that friendship was real, it felt like the most obvious thing in the world, that I have to tell you why I'm in this show and why, why I'm doing the things I do. And, um, and I think, you know, we're excited about season four and about being able to push that further and, and hopefully keep telling that story. I know. You know, I'll be asking all the questions. So.